Hello everyone, my name is Silvia Siqueira and I work as a Product Marketing Manager for Performance Testing Solutions. Today we have exciting news about the version 11.5.2 for HP Low Runner and Performance Center. And I have a whole team here to talk about this exciting news. So go ahead people, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Shane Evans. I am the Worldwide Product Manager for HP Low Runner. Hi, my name is Igor Markov and I am managing the Loadrunner R&D. Hi, my name is Garmina Neja and I'm the product manager for Performance Center. Hi, and I'm Wilson Marr, the evangelist. So you guys can see that we have the whole team that works so hard to bring to you the 11.5.2 version. By the way, the 11.5.2 version brought very cool new, I would say, features for you guys. And by the way, how many cell phones do you have? I have a pile here, but I'm not going to show you. But anyway, you know, Wilson, what happens all the day? I just drop my phone. Guess where? I'm not going to tell details, but was worry. So do you have some suggestions for that? I heard that you know how to prevent those issues or even help with fix those issues. Tell us about it. Well, first thing is just to do one thing at a time, right? <laughs> but the other thing is that I carry a bag of rice with me, and uh, somebody used to think that, you know, I got stopped at the airport once. They go, I was like, what is this, a terrorist thing? But no, it's really, it's uh, in case I drop my phone in the water somewhere, uh, rice somehow absorbs the one. And so I carry it around with me. And, and plus, I guess in case there's an emergency, I got something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm Brazilian, I love rice, but anyway, you see, you get chips besides 11.5.2 versions in here. But anyway, with the complexity about testing performance, uh, I mean, testing performance in the mobile, it's kind of complex, and there is a lot of the new variables that you need to manage about. In this version 11.5.2, we have enhancements that helps customers to deliver applications faster. So, Shane, can you talk about a little bit to high level what we have in the version 11.5.2? Sure. I mean, this is a huge release for Sylvia, and the, there's been a lot of work uh, done by the team around uh, testing mobile applications, capturing uh, mobile scripts from, from real or, or virtual devices. We've introduced a new proxy recording feature that makes it uh, much easier to capture traffic from the mobile. Um, we're working closer with developers and, and just a, a whole long list of features uh, to make testing in an agile de development environment much easier for mobile. Yeah. So Igor, go ahead, talk about the benefits in integrating the development tools with performance testing. Right, so Shane mentioned the working with developers and we know that every company will have the developers de developing a lot of uh, new unit tests and system tests that they use during the development. But eventually, why not take all these assets, these great assets, and just use them in the load test? So now, in Loadrunner 1152, we allow taking uh, N unit, J unit, and even Selenium and the Java-based tests, take them and use them in the controller and execute them in a load testing scenario. <laughs> so actually, the organization can leverage existing uh, assets developed by developers and use them in a load test. Moreover, a performance engineer or even a developer can use Eclipse or Visual Studio, which is his own native environment, native ID, to enhance the test and add additional capabilities. And once you have everything and you can run the unit test, you can easily integrate it into your continuous integration environment. We have a, a Jenkins plugin, which allows taking load under scenarios, just run them from Jenkins directly. and your load test can become part of your continuous integration uh, scenario and run every night or every hour. And it's very easy, and eventually you get the full value, part of your uh, DevOps scenario from developer to the continuous integration. Awesome. Yeah, I can wait to see that. And then also, going back to the mobile, so we also do want to talk about the features for mobile. I already download my application in my Android phone. So talk about that, Wilson. Yeah, I'm following up uh, on listening to Igor. I think it's uh, the Jenkins is really a key part of this mobile. A lot of people think that it's just the mobile features, but I think Jenkins is a huge part of mobile development because it changes the relationship of the load testing people 
with the uh, you know the regular development uh, process going on so that way we in, are now able to insert ourselves in and it's and really this quickness of the development process is really a key part of what we're doing uh, with the development of mobile and so that's really a key. But there's also some of the very exciting uh, information uh, coming out with uh, the features coming out uh, in terms of a mobile recorder inside uh, the app as well, where the app is uh, where we the app is actually part of the uh, you know we have an app that's uh, recording uh, as we go, uh, very much similar to the uh, some of these other ones available. But uh, what it does is it creates a, a new a file uh, called the LR uh, PCAP file that goes right into LoadRunner where LoadRunner can uh, scan it, that file, and be able to generate a code, a uh, script code, right out of that uh, output rather than, you know, doing a lot of uh, machinations uh, inside the file. So it looks like it's, um, I think it's, you know, very helpful. Um, so that's you know it's tremendous, and I think also too we also have this uh, uh, recorder uh, inside ViewGen where we can do what's called a proxy uh, recording uh, right inside, and so that really doesn't uh, give us any limits at all as far as what we can do a recording on on iPhones as well as one well, because actually ViewGen now will go out to the line and uh, capture the uh, transactions that are going through the line uh, and make that into a vUser script. I also want to mention, Sylvia, um, we have a, a completely new uh, integration with the Shunner Network Virtualization, which is really key for mobile and allows us to um, virtualize multiple network conditions from a single load generator, whereas in the past we were limited to one per load generator. So now you can test multiple networks uh, from a single machine. Important point brought up because with mobile we go everywhere with these little things here, right? Of course, and then because we love being in community, of course, all the time in the phones, right? Um, for me, why don't you talk about our integration with HP Live Network that makes our community even learn and share more about uh, HP Low Runner and Performance Center? Talk about yeah. that. Sure. So uh, with this new release in 11.5.2, we have uh, created a new integration through ViewGen that allows you to, for example, download correlation rules, data format extensions, any kind of action or function files into ViewGen itself. And it also allows you to do vice versa. So you have the ability to connect to HPLN through your ViewGen and upload any sort of information that you feel is worth sharing. Again, things such as correlation rules, uh, data format extensions, any sort of uh, function libraries that you want to share with the community, the 10,000 user plus community that we have on HP Live Network. I think that's a very strong initiative that we've taken in order to bring our community uh, much closer. So. Awesome. That's all very exciting news. And by the way, we are going to have additional hangouts to just go in details about any one of these features that you mentioned to you today. So I think for now is that what I have. And if you want to learn more about these tips that we talk about here, go to uh, www.hp.com slash go slash LR blog. LR blog. Okay, I'm going to see you guys soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.